Getting a train or metro throughout Japan can be quite a daunting task before you arrive. But trust me, when you got it down pat and you know what you're doing, it is so much easier than you think. So whether you got a JR pass or you're just buying a normal metro or train ticket, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to get the train around Japan. So let's go catch that train. Woo! All right, so first thing first, before you even think about getting a train or metro throughout Japan, you need to get a few things straight. So um, you need to figure out if you're buying a JR pass or if you're just gonna get normal tickets. If you're thinking about buying a JR pass, I highly recommend just plotting in to figure out where you're gonna be going around Japan first um, and see how much that's gonna actually cost you. And then, if it's actually cost more than to buy a JR pass, then I recommend buying a JR pass. And so the next thing will be um, downloading the app NaviTime. So NaviTime is a really, really handy app for Japan. So that is pretty much all the train systems. Um, so you just plot in where you want to go from your set location, and it will show you all the times for the trains. And you can also look it up on the on online, but it's a lot easier just having it on your phone. So if you have got a JR pass, you probably notice that you can get a seven to 14 to 21 days with it. Um, and when you get to Japan, you have to activate it. So you can do that by activating it at the, oh, what is it called again? Sorry, I'll just check it out first. Yeah, so you can do that by activating it at the principal exchange offices um, throughout the train stations in Japan. So, if you don't know where that is, so like when you get all your things for the JR pass, you'll get a Japan Rail Pass booklet showing like all the information you need to know. And if you have trouble finding those um, offices, just find any information desk like I did and show them your JR pass and say, I need to activate this and they'll point you in your direction. And then once you have that activated, so it will be active from that set date to however long you have it for. And using a JR pass is super, super simple. All I do every time before I get on a train, I get the Navi time app, sort of just look up where I'm going. So today I've got a journey from Osaka to Hiroshima. So I just put on my Navi time app, oh, current location to Hiroshima, at a set time, so around 7 a.m. And then um, and then it comes up with a list of sort of train times around that time. And a lot of them will show Japan Rail Pass by the side of it. So if they show Japan Rail Pass and you have a Japan Rail Pass, then definitely choose those ones. But then there's other ones that won't show Japan Rail Pass. But I'll show, but I'll show it in the photos right here. Um, and it will show you the price as well if you're just paying it normally, but it will show you which train to get on, which to get off and how to get there at what time. So <laughs> I hope that all made sense and that's what I'm doing right today, right now. So I still have time. So what is, what do I gotta get first? All right, so the train I gotta get right now is the Sucker Metro and every sort of train stop I got to get to, I just look up where I got to get to it on the maps and then go from there. So let's go to Osaka Metro first. Woo. All right, so you can see there that I got to get the red line. So it shows like the red, blue and pink line there. So that is the line I got to get. Oh, it even shows, it even shows right there. So I gotta get that one. All right, so we'll just keep following along this way. Here we are. So if you've come to this point and you see these machines, so this is where you can, if you don't have a JR pass, 
you can get your cards here. So you can either get a Pasmo card like I have or a Suka card. So they're actually exactly the same. I think they're just different companies and you may get a different one, but they're for the exact same purpose. Um, so you actually have to buy it at the front counter. So like inside there, you can get them from the person there. They're actually free to get, but once you put it in the machine, I'll show you how to do it kind of on the machine. So this is the machine, you put it in English, you go card and then you put in your card but the card will actually cost you $500. I mean, the card will actually cost you 500 yen. Um, so if you put in a thousand, it will take off 500. And every time I usually just put in a thousand. And then you go through these things here. And you just tag your card and it will show you, it will show you the price that you're gonna pay and when you get to your set location you just tag your card through that again and it will show you how much you've actually paid for that trip all right so i hope i'm still doing good for time but i'm pretty sure i am so i'm just still following the red lines and there's more and more signs as you can see So once you activate your JR Pass, this is what it will most likely look like. Um, and it will show you your time frame you have it for. So I found out where I got to go to get the red line, so it's just behind me. And I got to walk through there show the guy this and that's all it is to get through, it's super easy. Hey. Oh. All right, sorry guys, I actually forgot this is part of the Metro, the first thing. <laughs> so I actually have to go use my Pasmo card. So I'll show you how to use this now. All right, so you just go through, tag it on here. I have money, which is good. <laughs> And then you can go through. So there is the line I gotta get right there. This way. So some of these lines can be very, very far away. I've actually been walking for ages. It just keeps going and going. I almost think I get there, but then I'm not. So luckily the arrows still showing me everywhere I need to go. So I'll just keep following these arrows, I'm walking a bit faster because I'm in a bit of a rush now. All right, so I made it on time and on the app as well that I have saying where I need to go, I need to get to this place right here, Surrey Troll. Um, so that's the end destination. But if you can find out the end, end destination of where you need to go, then you know and you're on the right train. And it is very busy today because everyone is heading off to work. Alright, so this is a station I had to get off, Shin Osaka. So each station too is goes by numbers. 
So I, I was at Namba, which was M20, and I needed to get to Shinosaka, which is right here. And this is M13. Sorry about the loud noises. But on the, uh, on the Metro, it shows on a screen saying like station by station, M20, M19, M18. So you just keep following that until you get to your exact station and then you figure out how to get out. So I've got to, oh, which way? No, I've got to find the JR line first. So JR is this way, there's a sign saying JR. And I've just got to tag out with my card again. Alright, so over there. And that cost me 280 and I have 19 left. Alright, so there's a little sign saying JR. So I've got to go this way. There we go, JR, JR, <laughs> keep going this way. So on this JR, it is a pink line, so I just have to find um, like pink trains showing the direction there, and it is to Sakura or something like that. Um, so, and this is where I'll be using my JR pass here. <laughs> so this is when you're supposed to use your JR passes. I just got mistaken before, <laughs> it's too early. So usually when you come to the point where you have to go in for the JR trains, they always have the big screens up there showing like which trains to get, uh, which is always really handy. So just come, come here, check your trains, which one you need to get. And all the times too, they are written in English. A lot of people come to Japan thinking everything will just be in Japanese, but don't worry guys, there is English too. So even on all the train signs, they have it in English. So I need to get on the the one going to Kagoshima Chao, so the pink line. So I notice that there's one in pink and it leaves at 804 and on the app too it says go to platform two. But I can note oh no it doesn't actually say which platform on there. But yeah, on the app it says go to platform two, so I know I have to go to platform two. And I'm gonna have to walk through here to with my JR pass. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I was wrong before. On the app, it says platform two. Usually, when it says like which platform to go to, that is right. But I noticed that all the numbers here are big, so I looked back on the screen and it said platform twenty. So I can see a sign this way, going to platform twenty. So I'm going to have to get that one. All right, see what I mean? So there's the pink there, and I've got to get to track twenty. So, yeah, always trust the eggs first, not the app. All right, so here's the signs saying which tracks to get to. So track 20 going this way. 20, there we are. Beauty, that is me. 804, it is 7.55, I'm on time, yes. So, Take stairs. Track 20. 2020. 20, 20. And there is my train. It is a bullet train too. These things look so cool. How awesome is that? <laughs> All right, so I've got time to explain this. So next thing you need to know when getting on the trains is there's reserved and non-reserved. You do not have to get reserved. I haven't got it once. Um, if, you, if you are planning on getting reserved, you just do it at the counters. But you can do without not getting reserved. So on these signs here, is, so this is just in Japanese at the moment, but on these signs, they come up in English too, saying if it's reserved or non-reserved. So I'm just gonna keep walking till I find a non-reserved section and then I'll go into that. See what I mean? So that says reserved. Gotta find non-reserved. I think I have time still. Yeah, I stopped time. <laughs> non-reserved, non-reserved. That's reserved. 
Oh my god, this train is so long. Look that one. That's reserved. Sometimes on the app too, it actually says which parts of the train is non-reserved, which is really handy. But, I don't know, I probably should have checked that first. I don't think it did. No, it doesn't. Come on, non-reserved. That's not reserved. Oh, I did it. Okay, so it'll come up soon, but this one is a non-reserved. So, non-reserved, beauty, that is where I want to be. So, I'm on the train. Yes! Okay, so usually there's more than one reserved car, so I just kept walking until I found one where I had a free spot. And so this is a long train ride. I've got about an hour and a half till I get to my destination in Hiroshima. So it's just time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, guys. See you there. Hello Hiroshima, I made it, yes. Oh, that was a real enjoyable ride. Um, and so, ah, so loud. <laughs> All right, so one other tip too, every time when I think I'm arriving to my destination, I always just make sure I'm in the right spot and look up like the location on my maps. So, like I got Maps Me, it's an offline map, which is really handy to have and I recommend downloading. But yeah, you can just use your GPS location and figure out and <laughs> make sure you're at the exact spot because a lot of times I've accidentally stayed on a train too long and missed my train stop. But yes, with this tip, you should never miss your train stop. So now that I made it to Hiroshima, I gotta somehow get to my hostel. <laughs> so before I got here, I looked up which one was the closest train stop to my hostel. So I chose to go there and the first train is a JR line as well. So I can use my Japan Rail Pass for this, but I think it is a Metro after that. So I'm gonna to have to go through the JR transfer gate, which is right behind me. And I'll have to show my JR Pass again, and then I'll figure it out from there. Hi. Thank you. All right, so my next train I've got to get on is the JR Cable Line. So I saw it on the screen, it is Platform 4, and on the app it actually said Platform 4 as well, so that was right this time. <laughs> so I've got to get that one right now, and then change to my next stop. There we are, Platform 4. Yeah. There it is. Go, go, go. Alright, so this is my stop, Shin Hakushima. So that's how I know where I am. <laughs> Okay, so I made it to my next station. So on my app, it said it was gonna take about three minutes. So I just went off by that. Um, and each station you stop at as well, it has the names of the station on the wall. So, cause on that, uh, on that train, it actually didn't say which one I was stopping at. So I just looked at the wall, um, the station I was stopping at, and then figured out it was the right one. Got off and it was good to go. Um, also one thing to note too, when I screenshotted uh, these train times on my, on my phone, they were a totally different time, but that doesn't matter because even though it was a different time, they're the exact same train, so that's all you needed to know is what train to get on and get on, get on it when it leaves. Um, right now I'm going to try to figure out how to get to my next metro, so I'm going to need to top up my card again because I've ran out of cash, so I'm gonna do that right now on these machines. 
All right, so to put money on my card, first off, I need to put it into English so I can understand what I'm doing. Um, then I think it is IC commuter pass. Then I'll have to put my PASMO card into here. Hopefully that works. No, nope. what is going on here? Okay, this card cannot be accepted. I understand now. All right, so I'm kind of glad that actually happened because this does happen occasionally where you can't even use those cards and you actually have to buy a separate ticket. So which I'm gonna to have to do right now. So on the wall here, it shows, oops, sorry. It shows where I am, so I'm here. And then I'm gonna to have to get to Hon Hondori. So which means that is 190. Um, that is also the fare as well, so that will cost 190. So I'll go English, 190. Uh, yep, so just got to put in the cash. Yeah. There we go. It's going to give me a lot of change because 10,000 is the smallest I had. <laughs> oh, I hate change. Alright, so this is my ticket here. And I'll put away my change first and then I'll show you what to do. Alright, so now that I've got this ticket, uh, it's kind of the same deal, you just go through the entry and you put your ticket in like that and it'll pop out the end, grab it and go and make sure you do not throw away this ticket because you will need it to get out as well, so do not throw it away. Alright, so for Hondori, that is exactly where I want to go, so I'm just going to follow that too. Let's go. And here it is here. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this is the right station. I couldn't find any exact signs to say where I am, but I think it is, so let's hope. So when you're leaving, just put this in here, and then you're good to go. And let's just hope, yep, this is Hondori. So, it shows right there. Because this is pink, and I am here. Nice! Alright, we have made it to Hondori, which means I've made it to my final destination. Yes, did it. So once you've come out, um, so I mean once you come off a train, you just figure out which ones, which ways exit. So there's heaps of different exit directions. I usually just pick one exit and hopefully it comes out the right closest way to my hostel. But I'm just gonna keep going till I'm outside. And then after that, I'm going to figure out how to walk to my hostel, but ah, uh, made it guys, made it. Okay, so I'm definitely on the right road heading to my hostel, so I feel like this is a mission accomplished getting to Hiroshima. <laughs> so as you can see, it is not overly hard to figure out um, the train system around Japan. So once you got it down pat, it is very, very easy. So just to recap everything, like if you got a JR pass, make sure to activate that at one of the exchange office centers and if you don't know where that is then just ask in the information desk so and then if you are just paying normally make sure you get your PASMO card or your Suica card and then you can top that up at the machines and then tap through go through there and then download navi time app so navi time app is probably one of the most important things to get so make sure you download that and because I don't have a um, service or a SIM card, I actually look up where I'm going, then screenshot it. So just have those screenshots and then go by that. Figure out what color train you gotta get. So it can be like a pink train, a blue train, green train, or whatever. And then you go by your numbers and your letters as well. So it can be like a, J1 or a C1 and you got to get to J10 or C11 <laughs> so yeah that's that goes by that um, and as you saw before some places you actually have to buy the tickets so just look up on the wall of where you have to go to um, and then you just put in your number that you need to go to and then pay the machine um, but yeah ah, 
I hope I covered everything guys, I really hope I did. I feel like I did. Also one thing to notice too, um, if you have a JR pass, they're actually also valid for some buses as well. I don't know exactly which ones, but the Japan Rail Pass booklet you'll get, it will show which buses you can go on. And it is also valid for like one ferry, I think. So, which I'm going to do probably in a few more days is a ferry to an island around Hiroshima. So my JR Pass is valid for that, which is good. <laughs> um, but overall, I really hope this actually made sense. It is very easy, guys. I'm just, I'm, I just hope I explained it well enough to you. Um, if there's anything else you would like to know about the train system shut up, <laughs> in Japan, just put a comment below and I'll make sure to answer back. But yeah, I made it, I made it, that's the main thing. <laughs> so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember, subscribe to my channel, follow your dreams and escape your comfort zone and enjoy the train journeys in Japan. Bye.